Hey guys and welcome back. I am filming on my phone because I can't find my memory card this morning. So it was probably up on a shelf or something and the cat swatted it off. They've swatted off my earbuds twice and Kennedy's too off like the kitchen counter and then they go flying once they hit the ground and then they swat them up under the stove and refrigerator. We found one under the refrigerator but we cannot find the other one. So it's already been one of those mornings, but I'm gonna film on my phone. Heather's ran to get me a memory card. It's okay, I'll film on my phone until then because I've gotta start on this house and get some things done. You guys seen yesterday that we worked on this garden and made that bigger. It rained last night and it is muddy, so we're just gonna clean house today. It's probably worse than it's ever been. So I'm gonna take you guys through and show you room by room what this house looks like. Kind of like a dirty house tour. And then we're gonna clean it up. So I still have this box sitting here from Lake Lee's car. This door, of course, is always disgusting. But when you walk in, yeah. It is a huge mess. So we've got a mess in here from Lake Lee's things that we need to put away. And the dining room, of course, is still kind of out of sorts from where I did this table. This wall still needs to be cleaned. It's just disgusting. So, Heather's room, we need to pick it up. It's just everybody's mess. Kennedy's purse is in here. Yeah, Kennedy's purse is in here for some reason. Um, my desk needs cleaned. Everything needs dusted. That needs cleaned. Always, always a mess, seems like. Then, coming back in here, we have stuff in the hallway. I still need to sand that spot now that it's good and dry. Laundry room needs to be picked up. Kitchen is terrible. I know a few people have asked what I film on, and I have a Canon G7X Mark II, and it has been a good one. I mean, it is like broken. The screen won't shut from where I've, oh, see. The screen won't shut from where I've dropped it so many times, waiting on a memory card, but it's been a good one. I can't complain. If it died today, I can't complain about it. I would, but I can't. So I got paint, stain supplies, paint brush rollers, all that, dishes. I'm gonna mop my cabinets. I always do that when I get a new mop head and I needed one, so I got a pack of two, but I'm gonna mop my cabinets and clean those good. Always a mess over there. Their cat food was turned over this morning. Heather went and was picking it up and I was like, no, 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 leave it. I wanna show them. So let's check this out. Uh, oh yeah, that needs to be cleaned. I am loving this, love it. So much easier to wipe off. So last night we cooked fried chicken, beans, greens, cornbread, salmon patties, and I opened a can of salmon and did the whole, you know, put it all together for salmon patties, and that is the most disgusting thing I've ever seen in my life. Had no idea when I opened that can that it was gonna be, bleh, yeah. So anyway, need to sand that down. But moving on to my room, I need to make my bed. I got this shirt, it says, get off my lawn. And we all thought it meant Monster House because you know, Monster House, he says, get off my lawn. Um, Alden said it was Gran Torino, so I'm not sure. But I was like, oh, well, it meant Monster House. Like, get off my lawn. I need to pick up in here, wipe some things down. I would love to clean carpets. So, you know, we'll see. I just need to pick up some things in here. Move it on to this bathroom. It's not terrible. I've seen it worse, honestly. But we tried to take this down and Alden said that it doesn't come down. The light part comes down, but the bent part stays. So I don't know if we've messed that up or what, but we do need to try to Get that vacuumed out somehow because that's nasty and put back up there. Can I film your room? Can I show them your room? Okay, so this is Allison's room and she is pretty neat and tidy. She's probably my my tidiest kid for sure. But 
I make them clean their own rooms. I told her that we might rearrange her room. I don't know if we'll get to that today or not. Hmm. Because her vent is on that side and it kind of blocks the airflow. So it's warm in here. So we need to kind of turn her bed around or whatever. But I told her I wanted the floor cleaned, especially because I want to clean carpets if I get a chance. Kennedy's got some things on the steps that she needs to get up. What's up? So her room's not too, too bad. So her blinds have helped so much and her little air conditioner has made a huge <laughs> difference. Stay, stay, stay. I cleaned these carpets not long ago, so I'm not gonna do these stairs or her floor. But I wanna get this house picked up because we have been outside working so much and everybody's been running everywhere and it's just been complete chaos. And we've not had time just to clean. I'd like to thank Dr. Prepare for sending us this four-in-one portable air conditioner. It combines cooling, dehumidifying, fan, and sleep modes. It is designed for convenience. It's easy to move and maintain. It sits on easy roll casters with two handles, has washable and reusable mesh to ensure healthy air by keeping out dust and pet dander. Installation is a breeze, and it's got a tool-free assembly. You guys know, up in this bonus room, it gets super hot. We can get about half Halfway up those stairs and hot air hits us in the face and there is a vent up here a return but it just does not do the job so I was looking for a portable air conditioner or some kind of really good fan or something we had talked about getting the garage below it insulated but that's just not gonna happen right now for us so when they reached out to me and asked me if they could send us an air conditioner I was like perfect I was a little intimidated by the window part of the installation but honestly it was a breeze it took like five minutes it comes with an adjustable kit so that all of your air toxins circulate on the outside keeping all of that outside of your house so it features an easy to read LED display and also comes with a remote control it's easy to set the time temperature and mode it's 24 hour adjustable timer it allows you to set the on off schedule and let AC work for you even when you're not at home so I will have a discount code for you guys. Check that out. We've used this for about a month now and it has made a huge difference. Thank you to Dr. Prepare for sending us this portable air conditioner. Guess it's working. Heather, Heather went and got us the memory card so she saved the day. Okay, hang on. Say hi. Okay, she's gonna start on the kitchen and I'm gonna pick up the laundry room while she does the kitchen so I'll flash back and forth and then I'll hop over here and help you. Is that good? Okay. pretty good about keeping this laundry room picked up but then you guys know I had surgery I was down we've been outside most of the time doing all kinds of gardening and all that and the insides just gotten neglected plus we walk through here when we get out of our cars coming inside but our garage door has a part that's broken and we have ordered the part it's supposed to be here today so we've not been walking through here so with that we've not really picked it up as much so yeah we've been slacking and it shows for sure but Heather was picking this kitchen up I was jumping back and forth Kennedy was helping but then she leaves and takes Allison to volleyball so Allison's not going to be here on this day and then 
Kennedy is in and out. She runs a Gets Us Lunch. She also runs Allison to Volleyball and picks her back up. But then she does jump in and help some. And of course, I make them keep their own rooms clean. Kennedy also cleaned the bathroom for us. But we have so many mismatched socks. I did find the mates to a lot of those, but I don't know what happens to all our socks. Is it like that for you guys? I don't understand. I don't know. You would think you wear a pair of socks, you put them with your dirty clothes, they're going to come out of the wash like that, but that just doesn't happen for us. And so many of you suggest that we put the cat litter boxes in the garage and we put like a little cat door and that door there that goes from the laundry room into the garage and while that's a great idea I'm really afraid that there's things in the garage that could hurt them I'm not real sure what all's in there honestly if we had time to go through every inch of that garage and make sure that there wasn't like poison set out for mice, things like that. That worries me because this house wasn't new when we moved in. And I know that when we first moved in, there was stuff like that under the steps that go from the garage into the house. So I'm not sure under those shelves that there's not things like that. And I wouldn't want to chance these animals getting sick or hurt for anything in the world. When the previous owners moved out, they had like two days to get out because he was starting a new job on the West Coast. So they had to get out fast. And when we actually walked through this house, they were like moving out on their last day and they had so much stuff to get out and they were stressing and we were like, don't worry about it. If you don't want to take it and it's trash or whatever, we'll take it. Just don't worry. They did leave a whole lot of things. There was food in the pantry. There was a ton of stuff in that garage and there's still stuff out there. Some of the things we use still and some of the things, you know, we do need to get rid of. But like I said, if we had time to just go through every inch of that garage and make sure it was safe for these animals, that would be perfect. This is a Norwal vac mop. I'm doing a sponsorship with them coming up and it is seriously the most amazing thing I have ever owned in my life. It cleans only with water and I love it. This thing is smarter than I am. I feel like I own Rosie from the Jessens, so be looking for that, but I honestly love this thing. So offshore, playful and free. Without a care in the world, I was one rich little girl. Daydreamer, kidnap me. Take me back, all the way back to them days. Running around in a gown and a crown. B 
Sticks around to the store and get a few things we need. So, toilet paper, face wash, um, body wash. You know which one I use. Antibacterial. Get the antibacterial if they have it. And. Mm hmm. And then we need Italian dressing. Toilet paper, body wash. Face wash. Neutrogena. Yeah, P U P C U P S. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think he knows what we're spelling. Yeah, so we're good. And then we still have meatloaf, and then we'll meal plan again. Right? Is that our last meal? I think so. I'll go ahead and put the meat in the fridge, mm -hmm. so it can be thawing. Okay, so I got the laundry room done. That was a huge mess, wasn't it, buddy? And then Heather at the kitchen done, and Kennedy took Allison to volleyball practice, and she ran and got Allison Subway for when she's done, and then she got me and Heather and herself Subway. So we can put this in a cabinet somewhere, maybe. Lord have mercy. We're making chicken and dumplings tonight, so I'm gonna go ahead and get out. We're, it's good. I used it last night. So I'll go ahead and get out all the ingredients. So I have room in this cabinet. So we're making, not pasta sauce. So we're making green beans, corn on the cob. Uh, I think I'm gonna make this cake. I'll make this cake. Um, and we have strawberry cake with Cream cheese icing, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and make that. And so that. Will you put that meat in the fridge and give me the corn out of the freezer? That way it can be thawed. That way it don't take too long. We can throw it on the grill if it's thawed. Rolls. There's one chicken nugget in that bag. One. I'm like, I'm out. Do they really just want to leave one to keep from walking to the trash can? I mean, it's a hard job, but somebody's got to do it. Right, Flashy? <clears throat> Got y'all sitting on the cream cheese frosting right now. Um, okay, so tonight we're having chicken and dumplings, green beans, corn, and rolls. Yeah. But instead of making the chicken and dumplings, like some like just dumplings, some like a lot of chicken and like less dumplings. So I think I'm gonna, we're gonna make the Italian chicken like it's the Cracker Barrel copycat recipe. It's just Italian dressing and then we salt it a little bit like we salt it lightly but we grill that and then when it's done we squirt honey on it and then it it, it like crisps like the honey gets brown and it kind of caramelizes i guess 
but it is so good. So just flip it a couple of times and leave it on there just maybe 30 seconds of being it and it's done. But it is so good. So I think we're gonna do the chicken like that and we can have dumplings on the side and if people want their chicken in their dumplings, there it is. It's not gonna be gross, like that kind of chicken in with the dumplings because it just gives it flavor. It's not really like saucy or anything. So anyway, I think I'm gonna bake this cake. But I thought about doing the dumplings in a crock pot. And I don't know if that's a good idea or not. I've got chicken broth. I don't know. We'll see. The next thing I'm going to do is clean in here. And Kennedy's going to help me. And we're going to put this car in the garage. That baby swing folds up. And we put that in Heather's closet. And then this little Bronco walker we can take upstairs to Kennedy's room. And then her little toy can fold up. But I want some of these toys out of here. And I don't know why because she's going to be right back. And we're going to be dragging them back out. But that's okay. That's just part of it. But I just want everything back in its place. And it to feel a little tidy. Um, I'm also going to clean this table. I've got my old laptop where... Let me show you. So I've got my old laptop that I used to edit on. And this screen, it's broken, so you can't close it. If you close it, it will not pop back open. It's like it breaks off. But it's fine if it's open, you just can't close it. So, but this is a good one. It's got tons of storage on it. And I'm gonna give this to Lexi to edit on as long as she don't close it. And then I've got this one down here, which works fine too, but the plug in it, and we've had it replaced, but the plug for the battery, you have to put it just a certain way and leave it alone and don't breathe or look at it or anything else to get it to charge. But this one works fine. Like I said, it just doesn't close. And I was going different places. Like if I go to my aunt's or my mom's or somewhere like that, I'll stop and edit sometimes. So I need it to be able to shut and take with me. But we're gonna clean this table off and I'm gonna wipe it down and see how well that does, if it does any better than it did before. But yeah, that's what we're gonna do. I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone. I, I was always the one to find myself lost. A lot of times I don't ask my kids to help me clean, especially on video, or I at least make sure that they're okay with being on video while they do it. And I asked Kennedy if she would pick up a few things in the living room for me, and she said she would. She is a reader, so she is into a book. She's actually on the second book. I'm not even sure what the name of the book is she's reading, but she's on the second one, and she cannot put it down. So I know I was annoying her by asking her to help me. Every time she would pick that book up, I would ask her to do something, so she would have to put it right back down. And I know that's frustrating when you're trying to read, but you know what? When you live in a house and there's a lot of people and you got a lot going on, you have to jump in and help. So I was making some dumplings. I went ahead and started those on the stove, but I transferred them to a crock pot. For one, I was boiling over, but I wanted to try that and it worked out good. The kids actually said it was the best I had ever made yet. And I do show you some strawberries and I lie and say I pick them and I didn't mean to. I bought them from a little strawberry farm. I did not pick those strawberries. I'm going to thaw these strawberries to go on this too or to go with it. Um, these are the ones that we picked and froze. This is the oil and water. It's like it may be in a cooking channel from a box. <laughs> She's gonna bag up these cushions and take those to the garage. Season me, leave behind another story that's got me blind. Got only you on my mind. I couldn't face what I couldn't find. Just need to know I need peace of mind. Where are you now? Even though I won't believe it, the 
do use this pack and play to change like Lee's diaper, but for the big part, it's just mainly storage. We never lay her in here for naps or any of that. We actually don't lay her down much at all. There's so many of us, we all have our hands on her and we're playing with her most of the time or holding her. She is so sweet. But Flash's dog bed was a mess inside his crate. He actually loves his crate. He'll go in there and lay a lot of times just during the day. And we do have that comforter over it just so he doesn't bark at every little thing he sees during the night because he will if he can see out that front door so it's kind of like a little blinder there he does like that it's enclosed and it's dark i would love to build something wooden around it lot and wooden i don't know make it look cuter but for now it's just a comforter Super slick now. And I know it's not as shiny as you wanted it, but. Well, I didn't want it shiny. But it is just like super slick. And you can wipe you it. You see a ragwood stuff. Yeah, a ragwood stick to it. Watch out, Chip. I got more stuff to get. Oh, yeah, that's so much better. Call a urinating for the win. Take a real close look now. Uh-uh. Assume -uh. you're real. If you guys have still not tried e-cloths for glass, it is the best thing you will ever use and for stainless steel. But for glass too, you just wet the rag and you clean it and you go over it with this blue rag. It dries it and polishes it and takes every single streak off. It is truly amazing. My friend Tracy sent us those and I had never used them, but they are truly amazing. I have saved so much money in cleaner because I don't use glass cleaner. And the only time I even use surface cleaner is if it's like really greasy or, you know, the counter is extremely nasty and I don't want to just get my cleaning rags, you know, super gross. Then I'll go over it with like cleaner, but then I'll go back over it with this once it's clean and then clean it with this cloth and then polish it because it seriously makes my counters stainless steel and glass the most clean I have ever seen. I mean, seriously, they are like better than new when you're done with them.
I waited all my life for someone like you to show Now that you're mine, it's so hard to take things slow While I had this sander out, I went ahead and took it to this wall and got that spot smooth. And then yes, I take a vacuum cleaner to my wall. Kennedy came around the corner and she was like, are you vacuuming the wall? And I was like, yeah, desperate times call for desperate measures. I was exhausted by this point. And I know it doesn't seem like a whole lot of cleaning, but there was a whole lot of stuff that we did that wasn't filmed too. But I was tired, y'all. I was tired. But Moving on to my room, I just put a few things away, make my bed, and vacuum. I don't even dust in here, even though it does need it. I don't let the animals in here. Usually, if the door's open, they will run in this room. It's like the secret room to them because they're not allowed in here. So, they will run in, but they're usually not allowed because my allergies are terrible. So, I don't want to sleep with all the pet hair, dander, all that. It just kind of gives my breathing a break during the night. So, yeah, that's all I did in here. Someone grand and my plea like a coin in a wishing way. I did get a new mop head for my O cedar mop and when I do that when it's brand new I like to take it to my cabinets and then, you know, of course, use that on the floor from there on out. And then when I change that out again, and it's new, I'll use it on my cabinets again. That's just how I think it's the easiest to clean those top cabinets for sure. But I didn't get to that on this day. And I also didn't get to clean the carpets on this day. And I would have loved to, but we kind of ran out of time. And then we went outside and worked a little bit. So, yeah, I didn't get as much done as I would have liked to. But still, we got quite a bit accomplished. Did you make your bed? Not all the way. Oh my word. I got distracted by the clips No, that's how you really make your bed. Don't lie to these people. Take a joke. Take a joke. Mm -hmm. You don't take a joke. You get all offensive and stuff. Mm -mm. I got all kinds of jokes. Flash, you go on. Why don't you got no lights on? You trying to save on the electric? Yep. If you're going to live in a dark dungeon, track me rooms. Did you get your bathroom clean? That looks clean enough to me. Good job. I'm out of room, so I'll share my devotional next time. But thank you guys so much for watching. I love you. Remember, Jesus loves you. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I think I am ready for doing some change. Something more than that